Here's a problem that uh, asks us to calculate the atomic mass of silicon based on the um, <clears throat> percent abundances of its different isotopes. Okay, it says naturally occurring silicon consists of 92% silicon 28. Okay, that is the mass number of silicon um, of that isotope of silicon. Um, and uh, it has this mass, and then there's also 4.7% that is silicon-29 and has this mass. 3.09% uh, is silicon-30, which has this mass. Right? So we have three different isotopes, three different abundances, um, which incidentally must add up to 100%. And then we have the mass of each of those three isotopes, so we can calculate the atomic mass. It's essentially just a weighted average of, uh, of the masses of each of, of these isotopes. All right. So just looking at this, we see that 92% of it, that's you know, over 9 out of 10 uh, atoms of silicon, are silicon-28. Okay. So that means 92% of the weight my overall weight, it comes from that isotope. So it's going to be pretty close to uh, 27.97, okay? But then uh, there's, you know, a little bit of these heavier isotopes also, and so that will increase the weight um, of the average by a little bit, okay? So, um, so let's set this up. And uh, the way we're going to do that is to, uh, to realize that our average uh, the, is the atomic mass, okay? So the atomic mass, uh, atomic mass, that is the average, okay? The weighted average according to the abundances that we just looked at. Okay, so that atomic mass, which um, is given on the periodic table, but we're calculating it, okay? And it, it is based, what's given on the periodic table is based on information just like this. The masses of the specific isotopes um, that uh, occur naturally, and then the percentage uh, of the atoms that are each of those isotopes. So 90% of the atoms of silicon on the earth are silicon 28, 92%. Okay, so what we can say is that if 92.21%, uh, um, and you know, I'm going to write this as a decimal. We need to put this as a decimal. So if this is percent, we just divide by 100, which makes uh, makes the decimal move two places over to the left. There'll be 0 0.9221, uh, and, and now, now it's no longer percent, it's just a decimal, okay? So that's the first thing we need to do, is convert these numbers into uh, a decimal. It just simplifies it. Okay, so 92% is silicon-28, which has this mass, 27.97693. 27.97693 um, AMU, atomic mass units, okay? So 92% is this, and then um, we have 4.7% is silicon-29, okay? So here we have 4.7%, if we make that as a decimal, we have 0 0.047, okay, 4.7, you move the decimal two places to the left, um, and that's going to be times the mass of silicon-29, which is 28.97649. So, 28.97649. Alright, so that accounts for 92 plus 4.7%, so about 
about 97% of silicon, but there's still that remaining 3.09% left, which is silicon 30. Okay, so 3.09 written as a decimal is uh, 0 0.0309, okay? 3.09, move the decimal two places to the left because we're dividing by 100. And we're going to multiply that by the mass of silicon 30, which is 29.97376, okay? 29.97376. So here is our um, equation, and we're just going to, to calculate that out, all right? Um, just for, uh, to demonstrate this, I'm going to verify that um, these numbers, these percentages, all add up to 100%, okay? 4.04%. Um, Seven zero, and then the other one was 0 0.0309. Okay, if we add these all up, we have nine and one is ten. Carry the one, and then that gives us ten. We carry the one, and we have uh, seven ten again. Carry the one, and you have ten again. All right, so we have one point zero 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 zero. Uh, one instead of a hundred because these are as a decimal. All right, so they do add up to a hundred percent, which means that we haven't left anything out. Ninety-two percent is this, plus the four point percent that is this. We're weighting this uh, this mass by its percentage. We're weighting this mass by its percentage, and so since this has a high percentage, the bulk of this is going to be uh, con you know, the bulk of the atomic mass is going to be contributed by this uh, figure, and then a certain amount from those uh, lower numbers. All right, so let's plug this in and see what we end up with. All right, so 0 0.9221 times 27.97692 plus uh, 0 0.0470 times um, 28.97649 uh, plus, um, and by the way, in my calculator, um, the, uh, it follows the order of operations, and so I don't have to worry about the plus and the minus, uh, being, you know, coming, if it, it doesn't perform that before it does the multiplication, um, and so anyway, here in the end, I have 28.086, uh, okay, that is my atomic mass, a weighted average of all of those, okay? And we can verify that using the periodic table, okay? If we look here, silicon has a mass of 28.086, if you can see that there, 